This is Mark with Slower Lower RC, and this is part four of the comp crawler build. And I just got these links in. I got some aluminum gladiator links. I'm gonna have to assemble them. I got some Injora steel drive shafts for the gladiator, and some Injora telescoping shocks so today this thing ought to start looking a little bit like something um, I used a gladiator just because it's got a long wheelbase and I was gonna use like a deadbolt rear links and drive shaft and C10 front links and drive shaft but then you had to buy two sets of everything so I figured I'd just try the gladiator since I have one and it's pretty wide long wheelbase so I'm gonna get these unwrapped and we're gonna start assembling the links so I'm gonna show you how to put these on if you've never done it before there are these little pivot balls that go in the link and there's these little black o-rings try to get one on and push it through this is the wishbone and then get the other one and just pop it on just like that and I'm not going to sit here and film all of it so I'll be right back alright so I got everything put together and I think I got them laid out right um, this is not that difficult to do but I'll show you anyway the front wishbone now if you wanted to use a, a four link in the front instead of a wishbone then they would connect to the outside right here on your servo mount but since it's a wishbone it goes right in the middle right there put your screw through it and this one down here goes right you can't see it. It goes right in. Find an angle. Right in there, if you can see that. So I'm going to go ahead and get these front links mounted up. And I'll probably just go ahead and do the back ones and just show you when it's done because there's really not much to it. So to get this on, I had to grind down on the inside of this NHX belly plate. I don't know if it's the belly plate or if it's the link. The, the balls are too big on that. The, but I just wanted to show you that because I'm right in the middle of it and it was... A little frustrating. So my GoPro went dead on me as I was putting these links on so I just went ahead and put the shocks on and put some tires on it temporarily. These aren't the ones that are going on it. But you can see how the links went on onto the front, onto the back. These are the Gladiator links. Got a nice long wheelbase got the shocks on these are the telescoping shocks so they go down pretty far and they open up a lot too back ones are sticking a little maybe hopefully they'll loosen up maybe it's just because they're new and there's no weight on it so it looks like it's really up high but I might have to change the shock mounts get them up a little bit higher to get her down like that we'll see alright so we got a roller starting to look like a car now and next part we're gonna go ahead and install motor and transmission drive shafts and servos and we might even get them all hooked up alright thanks for watching this is Mark Slower Lower RC and last part we got this thing up to a roller. I think this is part five. 
what we're going to do today is we're going to get the motor and transmission installed. We get the steering servos installed, the rest of the steering linkage, uh, the aluminum horns, and these uh, Endura steel drive shafts for the Gladiator. So I'm going to unwrap these parts and then we'll get started putting them on there. Alright, so I'm going, I'm putting these drive shafts on the axles first. And you can see I have the the male side of the drive shaft on the axle. And I like doing it like that because that way dirt can't get down inside of there if you put it on upside down. So I'm going to get this one up here on the front. And... Then I'm going to put the ones on the transmission, and we'll get the transmission and motor mounted. Okay, so I got both drive shafts on the transmission outputs. I've got the drive shafts on the differential inputs. And this part can be a little fidgety, trying to get uh, both drive shafts in phase with each other, and trying to get them both on at the same time. So I'm going to do it off camera, but I'm basically just lining up the, both of these drive shafts, trying to get the bolts in the same positions on both sides, and then sliding it down into place, and there's two screws that go in the bottom, right there, and right there, and one screw in the top. So I'm going to do that real quick and I'll be right back. And so that went in pretty easy. Get the motors mounted. I got the drive shafts in. Got them in phase. And it looks like they're going to work hopefully. So we got a roller, and next we're going to install these servos, these Enduras. Never use these Enduras, but we'll find out. Alright, so these are pretty simple. Just two screws in the front. I'll go ahead and do that, and then we'll... Get the rest of this linkage hooked up to that. Alright, so got the servo mounted. Got this upper link connected. And I think I got it on backwards. No, that's right. I got the aluminum horn hooked up. I just got to hook this up to the receiver and center it. Put the screw in. And do the same on the back. So I'm going to do that real quick. Alright, so I've gotten both servos, all the steering linkage hooked up on the front and on the back. And now I'm going to have to hook this thing up to some juice to center these servos so I can put the screw in the horn. So what we have here is the Furitec Lizard Pro. And if you look in the back of it right here, that's your plug for your brushless motor. Or brushed motor. This will do both. Just plug that in. And here's my receiver. Now I'm using a six channel pistol grip radio because I want the third channel to steer the rear so we got one to turn put the front in one two to burn to ESC and two and I have the radio set so the rear is going to be hooked into three. 
and I did hook this up to my phone app last night and programmed the ESC so I wouldn't have to do it today and a new battery moment of truth and this is the radio I'm using the uh, radio link it's got this uh, right there that's where I'm going to be doing my rear steering from it's a uh, proportional so let's turn the radio on, <clears throat> set the model on it, okay, and there's a little power switch right here on the speed control. So far, so good. Oh, that's pretty quick. You can see I'm turning that rear with this switch right here. And you see it is proportional. It's not just jumping like that. That is proportional rear steer. And this, oh, she's slow. Oh, that's nice. So everything is working. I'm gonna have to reverse that uh, direction now. It's backwards on the motor. Not a big deal. You can do it right in the in the app. And the front servo, I gotta reverse it. And the rear, I don't know. I have to figure it out. I might have to reverse that one too. But I can do it right on my transmitter. It's pretty simple. Okay, so I'm gonna get this buttoned up real quick, and maybe we can take her for. A, quick little drive. Alright, so I got the steering situated front, back, got forward and reverse now. And everything is functional. It's working like it should. So, all this wiring is just very temporarily just zip tied onto it just to give it a test run so I'm gonna get all this wiring all tidied up and hopefully I'll have my tires in we'll put the wheels and tires on it and get the body mounted which I got today that's all I'm gonna show you I have to wait and see what it is thanks for watching